Hey there, I'm Marvaz here, welcome back to Let's Play XCOM The Long War Beta 14. So, let's continue where we left off. After that last mission, I feel like doing something slightly easier maybe. <laughs> Cell systems research is done. Right, that unlocks Cell satellites and Shadow Armor. Although, I probably want to be getting either for now. I don't have a lot of Valerium left. I'm at how much? 83 Valerium. Yeah. And Cell satellites required 60 Valerium, 60 alloys. I think I'll pass for now. And the Shadow Armor requires 30 something meld or something like that. So, yeah, I won't be getting that either. Soldier augmentation is done. Right, that's Amanda. So, she's a mech trooper now. Let's pick her abilities then. So, this is actually an interesting choice at Lance Corporal. Because Goliath class mech troopers can get resilience at Tech Sergeant, I believe. So, body shield is not that great, considering they will get crit immunity eventually anyway. I prefer automated threat assessment in that case. That's plus 15 defense against any enemy that's going to shoot you, as long as you're in overwatch. And half point of damage reduction. So, this is going to work every single time you're getting shot at, as long as you're in overwatch. While body shield won't, because that only works on nearest visible enemy. So, I'll pick Automated Threat Assessment and add Corporal. Probably Close Command Specialist. I like Close Command Specialist. And it's also plus 2 aim, plus 2 will. Okay. And her will is a little bit low. That's only 39 and not amazing. Okay, let's keep scanning. My new plasma weapons are almost done. I need one more day. That's the Reflex Rifle. And Destroyer. Okay, I need one more hour to get my Interceptor, I mean Firestorm. That's kind of annoying. Let's send some Interceptors there. But this is a Destroyer, these things can do quite a lot of damage. I'll just support if I take more than 50%, which he is right now. Yeah, it only took two shots. I might need more Firestorms soon. Possibly. Come on. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. I'm not sure if I can shoot this thing down. I might have to wait for my Firestorm. I can send one more Interceptor, but this is clearly not going to work without my Firestorm. Let's try. Yeah, this is not going to work without my Firestorm. Abort. Which means I need to wait one hour. There we go. This should work. Hopefully. I do have some dodge boosters. I might actually use one. Yeah, I'll actually use one. I don't want to take too much damage on my firestorm. There we go. Did we get a crash site? No, we did not. Okay, whatever. Let's transfer some of these. So, I can transfer one to Europe. And then one interceptor from Europe to South America. Transfer this one to North America. And transfer one interceptor back. Okay. And this one to? To Asia. Alright, fine. And transfer this back here. And let's keep scanning. Side changing is done and it worked. Nice. Let's send someone new then. Marco? I panic for Marco? Sure. And keep scanning. Plasma sniper rifle is done. Looking forward to actually using it in action. And Raider. Okay. Cap target. I can send an interceptor for now. That's in North America this time. I'll abort if I take more than 50%. Yeah. Interceptors aren't very useful at this stage of the game. More side training, this one failed. Alright. Let's attack that UFO still. Would be nice to get an easier crash site, maybe. Come on. Shut it down. No crash site. Oh well, whatever. Let's check side training. Who needs some side training? Kostya, what was he training anyway? 
Tych has pretty decent. Well, oh, he was changing side panic. Okay, let's go for side panic again. My backup max suit is almost done. This actually gives me an option to bring two mech troopers to one mission. I might do that at some point. We'll see. It's an option. It's nice to have that option. Awesome. Side training worked. Let's send someone new then. Who needs side training? Kevin? Who else? Oh, I could use side training on one of my engineers. Yeah, Holly. She needs some side training to be able to use ghost grenades. Let's see. Sci inspiration? Let's take Sci inspiration. And keep scanning. Abductor. Okay, we're doing abductions then. Swarming and inactivity. Do I want to bring Amanda to this mission? Maybe. Sure, why not? Where is she anyway? She's a corporal, so she's down here, yep. Okay, what about officer? Bella will be the officer. Jeff with an arc thrower? Maybe. I still need to capture a mutant elite or something like that. So Jeff can join. I'm going to need a medic. So Tyler or Luis. Or... Yeah, Tyler or Luis. Let's see, it doesn't really make a difference. They are both master sergeant. Next. Sniper. William. Kevin. Hariri. Or I could bring Shimizu. Is he even close to master sergeant? Not really, but he'll get there eventually. So, three more. What do we need? A gunner or two. Let's see. Okada. Reynolds, Kelly. Sen. 97 aim, 99, 94. 20 will. Let's bring Reynolds to this one. Oh yeah, she's actually psionic. I think they are all psionic, so that doesn't really make a difference. Also, Annette. And it needs to be in every single mission at this point. One more slot. I have a medic and the scout already. I have a sniper, so I could bring an assault. I could bring a rocketeer. Is Donnie actually close to Master Sergeant? Kind of. Do I want to bring him instead of assault? Yeah, sure. I mean, Shredder rockets are pretty good. In certain situations. So, backup Shredder Rocket? No, he already has one. He's going to need Walker Servos. Titan Armor and Plasma Storm Gun. Looks good. So, I'm not going to change anything on a net. That looks fine. Reynolds. Gatling Pulsar still, I didn't finish the jug on it. Titan Armor. Alloy bipod, armor piercing, and scope, as usual. Where's that scope? And next up, Shimizu. Now I can use plasma sniper rifle. Nice. Terra armor, blaster. He could use a scope. Neural gun link, though? Yeah, sure. And what else? Chitin plating, 9 hit points is not a lot. Yeah, I like chitin plating. Next up, Tyler. Titan armor. Ghost grenades? I could use some ghost grenades. And he will have to bring them. Storm gun. Or I could give him a carbine. That might be a better idea. That's still a 15 mobility, but better aim. Okay, I like that. Okay, Jeff is going to need an arc thrower, just in case I get a chance to capture something. So arc thrower, that means I need a storm gun. And if I want to maximize his mobility, I could give him Aegis armor instead of Titan armor. That's 17 mobility. But 18 hit points. 18 hit points should be fine. Okay, it will be fine. 
Sarbella. Reflex rifle this time around. And yeah, Titan armor. She has over 100 aim. She could use some chem grenades. Maybe kiting plating because 16 hit points is not a lot. And a scope. Or a backup med kit. I think I preferred scope. Okay, Amanda. I'm going to bring proximity mine launcher this time. And obviously flamethrower. Alloy belt and battle computer. Looks good, that's 29 hit points. And I think we're ready. Looks like we are. One final look. To make sure everything is okay. Looks good to me, only one gunner. Alright, let's go. Shame I don't have a plasma dragon yet, but I'll leave. I think I need a few more days at least to finish the plasma dragon. Oh, this map. Okay, that's a map from one of the council missions. It's a pretty big one, but it can be a little bit annoying. Well, let's get started. Line of sight for a sniper can be slightly problematic here, but I did bring a snapshot sniper. So that's not too bad. Okay, let's move then. I'm going to move with Bella first. Yep, here's the first group already. Chrysalid. One heavy floater. Two chrysalids. Okay. Can actually use rapid fire with this thing. That's 42%. 47. Okay, let's not do that yet. I could blast them with a rocket launcher and that might destroy their cover. Or I could throw a grenade with Jeff. I mean, he has Bombard, so that's probably a much better idea. What's the range on that? Okay, I would have to move a little bit closer. If I move here, that should be close enough to throw a grenade. Let's see. Kind of. I would have to use it like this. I could also hit the chrysalis with a grenade, but then the truck might blow up, and I would prefer to avoid that. Let's throw it like this. That will do some damage and it might destroy the cover. I mostly want to destroy cover. I don't really care about exact damage all that much. No, that won't destroy the cover. Okay. So, chrysalids. I could use a flamethrower, but that seems like a bit of an overkill. I don't want to use proximity mine because, again, the truck might blow up if I do that. I could take two shots with Reynolds, but then I'll need to give her cover. Okay, this guy needs to move into cover. 89%. Okay, that's decent. Just don't miss, thanks. Okay, 13 critical, pretty good. What now? Tyler could maybe get a kill. Oh, what? He doesn't have a line of sight from here, really? I guess not. I still got the flamethrower, so that's always an option. Donny can take a shot. 80%, 0% chance to crit. I think I prefer to just kill that one chrysalid. Like this. So, can I actually kill the other chrysalid? I might have to take a shot with Reynolds. Oh, Reynolds can't actually see it. Right, okay. I would prefer to not use a flamethrower. I don't have close combat specialist on Amanda, so... She might be able to kill the chrysalid with close combat specialist. The chrysalid will move and it will trigger close combat specialist. So, yeah, I guess I'll do that. I don't like to rely on close combat specialist to get kills, but in this case it should be fairly safe. Also, I can use Cypanic. On the heavy floater. That's 100% to panic the heavy floater. That's insane. Okay, he won't be a problem anymore. And now I could shoot the other floater. Using rapid fire. That's 47% twice. That's not too bad. Let's try. The second shot will be higher. Because holo targeting. And that's a kill. Nice. 
Okay. Overwatch. Because I can't do much else. Reynolds can move over here. And I should kill the Chrysalid. Unless Amanda misses terribly. I am also using an Overwatch. Oh. More aliens. Okay, that's not too bad. Just a few seekers. I can deal with that. Here's Cross Combat Specialist and that's a kill. That was slightly risky, I suppose, but it worked. If this missed, I still had a reaction shot on Tyler. So, full group of Seekers. I still need to kill that Heavy Floater, but that can wait. I could capture the Heavy Floater if I want to, but what I really need are Mutant Elites. Anyway... Seekers. That big Seeker needs to die, if possible. 100%. Is that the one? Yeah, that's the one. And he's down. No, he's not down. One more shot. That's two Seekers on top of each other. That's kind of how it looks like. Okay, that one is down. Let's see. Timizo. 40%, 57, 85. 85 is pretty good. Okay, let's take that shot, and that's a kill. He needs experience, so I'm trying to get some kills for him. Jeff. And Bella. 38, 42. Yeah, that's not amazing. 42% twice is acceptable, I suppose. Let's try. Second shot will be higher. Come on. Nope, missed twice. Slightly annoying. Okay, Amanda. 23, 75. Okay, let's take that shot. One hit point, really? Great. Oh yeah, Donnie needs some experience though. Let's take that shot. And that's a kill. So, one more Seeker. I don't think I can destroy this one. But maybe I can. Okay, 5 damage. Who can still shoot? Jeff, Tyler. I'll just take a shot with Annette. The floater is still panicking, so that's okay. Tyler. Yeah, he needs to move a little bit. Over here should be fine. And Jeff can still take a shot. Not much point shooting that floater with 13%. Do I want to capture that floater? I suppose I could try. I don't see any more targets around here. But I will reveal some of the fog once I move towards it, so it's slightly risky. And I obviously need to do some damage first. Okay, if I move here, I should be able to attempt the capture. Let's actually check that first. Yeah, I can. But first, I need to do some damage. Fela needs to reload. Who can take a shot? Let's see, Reynolds is close enough. I need some holo targeting first. So that gives me holo targeting? No, she doesn't actually have holo targeting. Okay. Donny. Sniper. Only 50%. Yeah, that's low. I might have to just kill that floater. 16 critical. Decent, but I need one more hit. 15% with Tyler. Wow. Okay, move towards it with Amanda, then I can flank it on the next turn. But I crit right now would probably kill it. Missed. That almost looked like a hit, but I guess not. Donnie can take a shot, but that's going to be like 20%. Yeah, 7%. Holy crap. That's because of tactical sense. Yeah, it has tactical sense. Come on, it. I need one hit. One tiny little hit. 33%. Okay, 5 damage. I think I need one more hit still. Yeah, 9% is too low. I can't flank it. 15% is unlikely to hit. But I might as well take a shot. I mean, what else am I going to do? Yeah, that missed. Alright. I'll just chill around here. 
Use Overwatch or something, just in case I get a patrol running into me. Oh, it's not panicking anymore. Yeah, and we got a group incoming. I need to hurry up with that capture. I didn't actually trigger that group yet. No, I didn't. But Amanda took a lot of damage there. I can heal her up. And I definitely should. So let's do it real quick. I'll just heal her once and then move back into cover. I can flank that floater. Wait, no, she's out of ammunition. Okay, Bella. 52%. I just need to hit once. I could use flash, but that's probably not going to help. Let's see, Reynolds. I got double tap on this turn and 62% chance. Okay, 8 damage, that worked. Now I can attempt a capture. Which, ironically enough, will have pretty high chance to succeed compared to my other shots. That should be 50 something percent, yep. Please work. And it worked, awesome. Alright, what about that group? I didn't actually trigger that group, but I need to reposition. Yes, I definitely need to reposition. So Shimizu can go here. Reynolds can't do anything on this turn anymore. Tyler needs to move into cover. Amanda needs to reload. And maybe move in this general direction. Come around here. Yeah, in the front. And she can reload now. I still got two uses of the flamethrower. And I have proximity mines. Donnie. Let's use steady weapon, just in case. I'll want to use a rocket launcher on the next turn. Annette needs to reload. So reload. And that's pretty much it. Bella? Bella can overwatch. Okay, that's it now. Here they come. That should be pretty easy. I can hit them with a grenade and with a rocket launcher. They will move a little bit more than this, so... Let's see where they move first. There is a seeker, but that's not really a problem. That's four mutants. Okay, it should be pretty easy. Oh! Mutant elites and the heavy floater. And they are kind of flanking me. Okay, that might be a little bit harder. I do have some ghost grenades, so I can always use that. I might actually do that. I need to reposition. Bella can stay where she is. Where's Jeff? Oh yeah, Jeff is right here because he was capturing an alien. I'm going to need some grenades. And the rocket launcher. I need a grenade first. So, Jeff. Do I want a ghost grenade or not? I probably do. Yeah, I'm going to use a ghost grenade on this turn. That's the easiest way to deal with this. That's mostly because of the mutant elites. Okay, let's not mess this up. This should do decent damage. It will run on the roof, but... It will do damage to the mutants. And it should destroy some of these walls. Yeah, it will. Okay. That's exactly what I needed. Now I can use a rocket launcher. Okay, I did use steady weapon. So, let's see. I just need to not hit myself in the face. That's usually good idea. I might have to move. Yeah, the shot will be blocked like this. And using it like this is pretty pointless. Well, maybe it's not pointless. But I don't feel like this is a good use of a rocket launcher. No, it really isn't. Okay, then. So... What else? Do I want to take a shot with Bella? Thing is, if I move her any closer, her chance to hit will be very low. That's the problem with the reflex rifle. It has a lower chance to hit if you're closer to your target. This guy needs to move. Now he can take a shot. 63, 87. Okay, 87 is fine. That's a kill. 
So one down. Reynolds. 100. 80. 65. Okay, 100 on the Muton. And that's a kill. And double tap. I could kill that seeker. I probably should. Bye. And two more mutants. Okay, I'll move Bella into the Ghost Grenade. I wouldn't want her to get hit by the mutant elites. Oh, great. Now I don't have a target. Okay, Chem Grenade. That might be helpful. Possibly. I still got Donnie and I still got that rocket launcher. Now I could use the rocket launcher. This should blow up the wall. And then I could take a shot with Bella. Okay, now I can take a shot with Bella. At least I think so. No, this wall is blocking my line of sight. Yeah, it is. Oh, well, I did some damage at least. Annette can get a kill or two. By the way, I need to make sure everyone is going to get the ghost grenade before I take any more shots. I need everyone in range. Yeah, Annette needs to move. So I can't shoot twice. Unless I decide to stay there, which I want. I would if it wasn't for that new group with mutant elites. Oh uh, yeah, I'll have to move like this, out of their line of sight. I don't really have a big choice here. Reload. And it doesn't need any reloads. The new weapon. I still got Amanda. I don't think I want to waste a flamethrower for this. I'll just take a shot and hopefully kill one. Yep, that's a kill. And ghost grenade time. Everyone will get the ghost grenade. And I'll spread out on the next turn. Take care of the mutant elites. And the heavy floater. I still need to kill this mutant, but that shouldn't be a big problem. Especially when he's standing right next to me. He's confused about life. So, mutant elites. I wouldn't mind capturing one of them. I think I'll try. But it might be tough. I don't have disabling shot. I need to kill the heavy floater first. I could use the flamethrower. That's a good idea. Okay, let's use the flamethrower. If one of them panics, I could focus on capturing that one. So this will hit all of them. Let's do it. Mutant Elite panicked. Okay, good. Now I can kill the other two and try to capture the panicked Mutant Elite. I don't think I can kill the one behind full cover though. Probably not. And I still need to kill this Mutant. And Reynolds needs to move unless I use another Ghost Grenade now. Which I want. Rocket launcher. The scatter range is huge though. I might end up hitting my own mech trooper. That would be bad. I could just move down here and kill that muton. Like this. Okay. This should be a kill. Only 91%? And that's not a kill, really? Great. Okay, Tyler will have to finish the job then. With a pistol. Bye. Okay, that's a kill. Back to mutants. Shimizu needs to move. Yeah, Reynolds needs to move. She doesn't have any cover left. I could move in here. She will have a line of sight. Annette. I don't have side panic. I could use Cypanic on either the Heavy Floater or the other Mutant Elite. I need to try to kill one of them at least. I could throw a grenade. Jeff needs to be closer anyway. Let's throw a grenade. That should be a pretty good one. And I got full control. I should destroy cover for that Mutant Elite on the left. And then maybe kill him. Let's try. Yep, that worked. Good. I could try to capture both mutant elites. That would be awesome. But I'm not sure if that's going to work or not. Okay. 
Okay, Bella. Your turn. Let's kill that heavy floater. I need to kill the heavy floater one way or the other. So hopefully this will do the trick. Then I could panic one of the mutant elites. The other one. And try to capture both. Oh, what? I can't actually see that one? Great. Yeah, Annette doesn't have line of sight. That's really annoying. Okay, then. Oh, and I didn't move her into cover. I must have clicked the wrong tile. I guess I did. Okay. Where can I move? Back here and reload? Kind of sucks about that mutant elite, then. I could use telekinetic field. But I think I prefer to just move into cover. You'll get to shoot an alien soon. Okay, so that mutant on the left is not panicking. He's probably going to shoot someone. Yep, he's shooting who? Reynolds. That's fine, he missed. When I saved Psy panic. Right, now I can try to capture this one, but I need some more damage. And I need to not kill him. Best way to do damage without killing him? Good question. If I get a crit, I'm going to kill him. What about Reynolds? Oh, Reynolds can only see this guy. Well, I'll shoot this guy then. Missed. Do I have double tap? Yes, I do. One more. Come on. Missed again. Great. Can Shimizu see anything? No, he can't. I need to move. If I move here, I don't think he's going to see anything. I think toggling flight is my best option right now. It definitely is. Move up here. And now I can see a target. But still, if I get a crit, I'm just going to kill it. But I don't have a choice, I need to try. Okay, I didn't kill it. That's 8 damage. That's enough. Now I can attempt a capture. Let's do that then. Yes, Commander. Move here. And attempt a capture. 48%. Please work. It worked. Awesome. So that gives me another alien heavy weapon. And now I can try to capture that other mutant elite on the next turn. I can use Psy Panic with a net. That should be either 100% or very close to it. 100%. That's actually crazy. Let's do it. And I just need to do a little bit of extra damage now. Amanda can do it. I can just flank him like this and shoot him in the face. That works. Like this. Just don't kill him. Yeah, I don't think I can crit for 16. Yeah, I don't think so. Come on. 9 damage. Alright, I'll take it. Time for some reloads. I don't have any more enemies triggered, so it's safe to move around. Bella. I could shoot it with a pistol, that's probably the best way to do more damage without actually killing him. It definitely is. Oh yeah, I reloaded my pistol instead of my primary weapon on Tyler. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, let's do this. I'll take a shot with Bella first. I want those 7 damage with a laser pistol, I don't think so. 91%, only 10% chance to crit. Okay, this is enough. Now I can attempt a capture. If I can get 2 alien heavy weapons from this mission... That would be great. Okay. Two tries. Failed. One more. Okay, I'm not going to do anything on this turn then. Just skip. And attempt one more capture on the next turn. If the next one fails, I'll just kill the mutant, obviously. So Donny can move. And use steady weapon, just in case. There's one more group. This might be the last enemy now. I'm actually not sure. I guess we'll find out. Overwatch just in case. He's still panicking. So, one more try. 
Even if I fail, I already got one alien heavy weapon, so that's not too bad. And it worked, awesome. So two alien heavy weapons from this mission, and it's actually done. That was a pretty awesome mission. This should be enough for all my weapon needs for now. I need one plasma dragon for a foundry project that increases plasma weapon damage, and I'll need one alien heavy weapon for a particle cannon. And Amanda got the promotion, so that's going to be hit ammo. Or I could go for shock absorbent armor. As tempting as it is to pick up hit ammo, I think shock absorbent armor is way more important for the survivability at this point. I think it actually is. That's also plus to will. Okay, I'll have to pass on hit ammo. That's not what Goliath is for anyway. It's nice to have it, but shock absorbent armor. Alright, so two alien heavy weapons. Five Valerium, really? Alright. And 115 credits. So let's get started on that dragon. I don't need that for the enhanced plasma project. And I definitely need that project too. Alright. My first plasma dragon will be done in five days. Can I afford it? Yes, I can afford it. Can I afford a particle cannon right now? I can. 8 to 14 base, 14 to 19 critical. 10% critical chance. Compared to Pulse Lance. 10 to 13, 13 to 18. 20% critical. This is not a huge improvement for this cost. Maybe I'll pass on that for now. In any case, I'm going to finish this part here and continue in next one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like and I'll see you next time.